Aquarius, this is Alex, and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. Let's see what God Angels Universe has for you. Aquarius, new beginning, four of wands, chariot, three of swords, three of wands, and six of wands. Nice. What I'm hearing is this feels like two or three people, by the way. Um, not that you're dealing with two or three people, Aquarius, but it feels like you're being two or three people, right? Like I'm getting that. And then for that's the storyline I'm getting. Um, for a lot of you guys, you I feel like you threw caution to the wind and you prioritize your stability. For some of you guys, you also prioritize your relationship or any kind of quote unquote commitments that you had. Um, it's almost like you just kind of quote unquote threw yourself into being more committed, being more stable, um, stabilizing your life, stabilizing who you are. You know, this four right here represents kind of like those four pillars, which basically hold up a structure. I kind of feel like for a lot of you guys, you didn't necessarily know how you were going to do it, how it was going to happen, how you were going to get it done. But this is something that you just kind of threw caution to the wind and said, you know what? Let me try it, right? Let me try to become more stable. Let me try this relationship. Let me try to commit. Let me try this marriage. Let me, you know, this to me is a new beginning with something that uh, relates to some sort of stability, stability at work, home, family, whatever have you, right? With the chariot card here, of course, you. this is you, Aquarius, as a fool, right? You also have cancer here um, as the chariot. So this is moving, moving forward, moving forward successfully. Now, with this three of swords, that's hurt and pain. So it was almost like, oh, angels just said to me, for a lot of you guys, you did try to move forward. You did try to move past some sort of hurt and or pain and or heal yourself to an extent. And as much of a struggle as it was, you were able to do it and get it done successfully. And now you're to the point where it's like, okay, you know, we start out here as a fool with not necessarily knowing what this journey is going to entail. This is like the humongous uh, unknown. But then we kind of close it out with, okay, I'm not necessarily sure where I'm going. I'm not necessarily sure who's coming towards me, but I'm in a better position today to kind of figure that out than I was in the beginning. So for a lot of you guys, I'm getting, yeah, you could be single. Just kind of taking a wait and see attitude on what's going to happen either in an existing situation or you're open and ready for a new situation. There you go, Aquarius. You are showing up. Yeah, a lot of you guys um, are a lot more hopeful this time around. Yeah, I love that. Angels just said to me with this three of wands here, for a lot of you guys, you're just patiently waiting. No stress, no muss, no fuss. It's like, look, whatever's going to come is going to come. I feel in my toenails, something is about to come out in these cards. It's going to be related and specific to what's going to come, who's going to come. That's too many cards. Look, I pulled them anyway. That's what that's what's gonna come. That's who's gonna come. Boy, is it coming quick. All right, Aquarius. Ooh, oh, it could be somebody from back from your past, past life, this lifetime, or past life of previous lifetime. Fool in a star card. Yeah, you're wide open. You're wide open. You're hopeful. You're ready. You know, you're embracing the unknown confidently. You know, um, you're ready for the next chapter, the next new beginning. Yeah, for a lot of you guys, especially since we have the King of Cups, um, angels just said to me, instead of looking for booty calls, situationships, friends with benefits, um, Aquarius, a lot of you guys may actually, you know, be ready to commit to a full-on relationship. Like, you want to be in a loving relationship. For a lot of you guys, you're looking for your Mr. Right or Mrs. Right. You may be looking for your future wife and or future husband. Things are moving incredibly quick. A lot of you guys could be traveling. Um, 
And I also kind of feel like the universe is sending you guys, uh, I would say contender, but I don't like the word contender. Let's call them opportunities, right? This eight of, eight of wands has everything to do with things moving incredibly quick to help you on your journey. For a lot of you guys, yeah, this could be work. Whereas you're traveling a lot, you're moving around a lot. Um, and angels just said to me too, that could be why in the past, um, your relationships did not progress because of your work situation, whether you travel, um, you couldn't commit, you have a very demanding job, you know, for some reason I'm getting that work got in the way of previous relationships. Now, if you think your partner was hurt, so were you as well, Aquarius, in that you couldn't really proceed, you couldn't really get but so far with someone because of work, right? But I feel like for a lot of you, you've handled and managed definitely the work scenario. Where's my six of wands? There it is. You've managed like work for a lot of you guys is coming, not really coming to an end, but the travel portion of it is coming to an end. The busy part of it is coming to an end. Um, whatever weight that you had on your shoulders related to work is coming to an end. Things are kind of starting to kind of quote unquote settle down. Now with that, again, that affords you the opportunity to maybe rekindle, rebuild um, some things that previously you had to let go of. This nine of pentacles is abundance, right? So healing from a past situation, something that hurt you or something that you know, kind of quote unquote, mentally brought you to your knees. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you may have made your peace with it. You may again, like I said earlier, have healed from it and you're ready to start, you know, kind of angels just said, renewing your hope and faith in what's to come. That's back, that's back this energy guys. So, um, not only that, but all the hard work and effort that you've been putting in work and all the dedication, it's also going to pay off too. Now, of course, it's not gonna it's not gonna help heal this past situation, but I do feel like with work quieting down or slowing down, that is gonna give you the time to heal and maybe even heal a previous relationship. Now, with the six of cups, you know, definitely in the six of wands, the two sixes, that's us now starting to kind of level out and move towards maybe the solution, right? So a lot of you guys may be thinking about somebody, you know, whoever this was that hurt you. I don't think it's a person who hurt you, but perhaps someone got hurt in, you know, in the process of you working too much, so on and so forth. So for a lot of you guys, you may you may start thinking about moving in a direction to rekindle this old love affair. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it does not have to be a past person. It could also be you Aquarius moving more towards wanting to to again open yourself up to love love in relationships. Okay. Three of wands and a wheel of fortune. This is the universal wheel and that's you based patiently waiting. So I feel like for a lot of you, again, there's no rush. There's absolutely no rush. Aquarius is, is patient cross watcher. Aquarius is not going to jump into something, you know, that's going to be detrimental to their emotional health, their mental health, and definitely not their financial health after all that Aquarius has been working towards lately. And I just wanted to look at this again. You're hopeful about this new beginning, taking a leap of faith. This, this, has, this has universal energy just stamped all over it, right? In other words, you guys are just flying blindly because your, your spirit and soul is so full of faith. And for a lot of you, your destination is love and marriage committed, supportive, nurturing, caring, loving relationship, period, the end. And for right now, things are going in your direction. Work is calming down. You got the money you've you've uh, tried to get. You put that money down on your house. Like things are, are moving relatively quick in your favor, right? You have these two cards here and the Wheel of Fortune. That kind of says to me that, yeah, Definitely Aquarius, things are starting to, to head more towards your favor. Um, in the past, you didn't have a lot of love to give and that kind of left either you or your person heartbroken. If this is a relationship, right? It left you or your person heartbroken. But I also feel like the positive side of this too is that now that everything is calming down, you will have more to offer. Six of Wands and Six of Cups, You, I feel like a lot of you guys want to get back into that warm and fuzzy place. I mean, who doesn't, by the way? 
I feel like a lot of you guys are open and again, ready to just kind of get back into love, nurturing, hanging out with your best friend, you know, spending Sunday mornings together, reading a paper, eating breakfast, whatever have you. And I feel like, again, Aquarius, you're being patient. You're not, you're not going to force this process. For a lot of you guys, you're incredible. You're, you guys are the poster ch children for going with the flow, going uh, with the universal flow. Nice engagement that says to me, yeah, you guys are ready to commit retreat. Okay, well, work may be calming down and some of you guys literally may be getting engaged. You're hopeful about the new future. Yeah, some of you guys could have just gotten married. Everything's going okay. Um, you know, again, money issues, um, money, one of you may be causing one of you guys to be absent, which is hurting up one partner, but the other one um, is has to make the money, right? And we're going to get through this. We're going to get past this. It's just going to take some time. Please be patient. Love that storyline. Honeymoon. Yes. Aquarius, did you guys just get mar married or you're about to get married? Ugh, that had to come up. Unrequited love. Angels are saying you're doing all of this for your person. No, you're doing all of this to stabilize yourself, to get back here. You've made some incredible sacrifices, Aquarius, especially related to your finances. A lot of you guys, again, you push your relationships to the side. You push some really important um, relationships to the side to stabilize yourself and to rebuild your foundation, to solidify, solidify your foundation. You're starting to see those rewards pay off. It came at a price. It definitely did. It came at a price. But I feel like now that you are normalizing, now love returns. Now love returns. Now you can, um, I'm hearing it was well worth it. Great job, Aquarius. Uh, you have Aquarius here. You have Cancer here. Um, you have Sagittarius there. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If you're interested in a personal reading, my contact details are below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you, Aquarius.